<laughs> Yo, my friends, today we're gonna take a look at the new MGC EVO 2. Revolutionize speed cubing. We'll see if this actually revolu revolu revolutionize. Revolutionize. Let's discover today if this actually re re <laughs> The bag is nice, they nailed that. But to be honest, it looks exactly like a Gan bag. But anyways, no tools except for this tiny screwdriver. Is that good or bad news? I don't know. These are the adjustments you can do on the cube. Clean visuals, not too much text, I like that. Ah, this only comes in Chinese, so racist. And then we have this guy, but let's go straight to the cube first turns. Interesting. This doesn't feel as bad as I expected it to be because I've read some things online. I've seen some videos. Most of it was pretty negative, but this is doable. By the way, the real name of this cube is the MG C. Pablo, that was funny, right? Now, before we're going to discover more about its performance, I first want to look at all the features the cube has. Okay, it's gonna be pretty pop resistant. That's a good thing. Uh, no magnets in the core. You know, I kind of expect that because this is a $23 cube. Use code CUBEHEAD for a huge discount. You cannot have all the features, right? But we do have adjustable magnets. You have like this small arrow pointing at the number. You have your normal magnets. They have this weird pattern. Like you have these squares everywhere. There are some design changes of the previous one. I don't have that one in hand right now, but that one was pretty bad. This should be an improved version of the version one. I mean, if you make a second version, I think it, you're not gonna step back, right? You're gonna improve on it. So here I have a YS3M. I think it's a really good comparison because they both are around the same price point. And since they're both pretty new releases, let's compare some of the specs they have. The design of the YS3M obviously looks a bit cleaner. Plus, I think the most important thing is that the YS3M has a ball core. I mean, the version I'm using, obviously, because there's so many versions of the YS3M, but this is the ball core version. The thing that the YS3M doesn't have is adjustable magnets. So this is up to you to decide, like, which one do you prefer? But the overall design is pretty similar. I think the biggest difference is the stem of the corners of the MGC EVO 2 is really atypical. Like, I haven't seen that before but what do i know about cube design what i want to take a look at is the features it has and then we get to this card because you can adjust the magnets using the screwdriver oh that's cool so if you want to adjust the settings it's really easy because the screwdriver just sticks to the magnet a few moments later that's pretty hard oh man that's pretty hard to adjust also the arrow points to a number that's not visible which is not ideal by the way if you do one magnet does it do the on no it doesn't do the one on the other other side so you have to adjust 24 magnets which is uh, i'm just gonna try the highest setting quickly The strongest magnetic setting is actually okay. For example, the standard setting of the WRM V9. Yeah, the standard magnetic strength of the WRM V9, which is not adjustable, by the way, is stronger than the highest setting of the MGC EVO 2. And then you have a dual adjustment system, which you can do by hand. The MGC EVO has 11 tensioning levels. Open up the center cap and use your finger to switch the tensioning easily. We're gonna figure out if it's actually easy because I don't trust that. This, this looks pretty... Not easy. Oh, interesting. The MGC EVO has a proper core specification for most cubers. You don't need to do lots of complicated tensionings on the core. So this isn't a dual adjustment system. You just have tensioning. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> okay, you can do it by hand, but MGC, you should be ashamed to be... <laughs> To be calling this easy, like I'm, I'm, I'm breaking my fingers over here. What I have to say though is that setting zero, which it is at right now, already feels kind of good. Like usually I would increase the tensioning quite a lot. For this one, actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna change too much. I'm just gonna check. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, actually, it's not that bad. You have 10 settings and even increasing five settings doesn't make a huge difference. Huge discount. Which is a good thing because you can really fine tune the settings on this one then. I really was too hard on MGC. The adjustment, if you have the correct way to do it, which is basically like, you see this star, right? Basically putting your fingers in between the two ends of a star, you can really grip it and just turn it. It's actually okay, I, I, I give it a pass. So the cross in the compression system has one arrow and it points at the setting the cube is currently set at. You can twist both ways, it's only tensioning. Oh, the center caps are... Oh, 
now I see. So take a look at the center cap. You can only put it in correctly in one way, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just something you have to take into account. So this is the highest tensioning and it is still doable. And it is noticeable that the first setting is faster than the highest setting. I think MGC really nailed that because usually, let's say a GAN cube, if you set it at the loosest compression and tension, no one's gonna be able to use it. But I think we will find people that will enjoy setting number one as well as setting number 10. So that's really good. I don't understand why the cubicle was so hard on it. I just didn't have the greatest experience with this cube. But let's actually check the corner cutting. Normal corner cutting is totally fine. It feels a bit blocky though. It's not as smooth. Like, say if I do a corner cut here, it snaps really smoothly. But this, you can corner cut, but it feels harsher. That's for sure. <laughs> is this a difficult corner cut? Reverse? Let's see. You should be able to do this, right? Okay, it does that. It doesn't do this. That's probably where the issue is. You know what, let me just do a solve because I quickly, I really want to find out if there's something bad about the cube that I will figure out from just doing a solve. I'm not warmed up, by the way. Okay, I totally messed up this solve, but so far nothing too noticeable. Alright, so I've been doing some souls on the MGC EVO 2 and this is kind of my review because it is pretty easy to figure out what kind of cube you're using even after just doing a few souls. And also, this cube out of the box already feels pretty good. Like comparing that, for example, to a Moyu cube, when you get it out of the box, it feels really dry and usually way too fast. Like the V9 was like, no one could use that. The MGC EVO 2, you can actually use out of the box. It feels kind of looped, it feels good. Personally, I would add some weight five to just make it slightly more controllable. But when I watched the cubicles video, I assumed that no one should buy this cube because it just wasn't good. This is one of the few times I actually disagree with them because I think this cube actually has a market. The MGC EVO 2 is a way lighter cube. It turns way lighter than, for example, the new Moyu cubes. Um, it is less forgiving, but that doesn't make it bad. Like, the only thing it lacks is the reverse corner cutting. The normal corner cutting is just good enough, but the reverse corner cutting sometimes lacks, and I do notice that sometimes in my souls. If you're a light turner, if you're an accurate turning, the cube is really enjoyable, and it does perform pretty good. Like, even the M slices feel... There's nothing wrong with them, in my opinion. And for $23, I think with the features it has, perhaps having a ball core would make it better, but... I don't feel like it's missing. It's a light cube. It is really enjoyable to turn, actually, because it's that light. It feels pretty premium. The plastic is good. I think there's a market for it. If you're a light turner, if you're an accurate light light turner, you will like this cube. The adjustment system is really easy. It won't break the bank. Even if the cube is not that forgiving and if your turning style isn't that accurate, it might actually be a good practice drill to be solving on this cube and just, like, make sure you're turning accurately, like you align the faces with every turn you do. Perhaps my turning style is more accurate than Phil Spots when he reviewed this cube. No amount of features. Bruh. But I would say it's an okay cube. Personally, if I would decide between the YS3M, the YS3M Balcor versus the MGC EVO 2, I would go for the YS3M. Just because it fits my turning style more. But but then again, if you're a light turner, I wouldn't I would say go get the Evo 2. I I didn't expect to be saying that when I started recording this video. So yeah, YG, I think maybe the third version, if you could just like improve the corner cutting, like especially the reverse, then you should do that. And also Anyways, that was this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Use code CUPED for a huge discount.